there have been a lot of consoles that have come onto the market and since they've been coming onto the market, they have been getting modifications from helping with thermals to just making it a more portable gaming experience. Today we're going to do the latter of the two and we're just going to do some very needed thermal upgrades to this. So let's get into that fun. Before I begin, don't forget to like the video if you like the video and subscribe to the channel. Also, link is down below to the merch store and go get some great merch. So, it's not exactly needed with this PS2 at least. I haven't had any thermal issues that I've noticed. Um, the reason I'm doing this is just mainly I want to try my best to make sure that I don't run into any. So, what we're going to do is I'm gonna check to see if I need to, but I got some thermal pads just to see if I need to change them. But the bigger and more important upgrade is this. We're adding a Noctua fan onto it. It is gonna add a little bit of a butt to it, but there's another mod in a later video that I'm gonna do um, that will make it okay, because it'll just add more to the back. Um, and the reason I'm not doing that in this current video, like I was planning originally, um, is because the everything I needed for that part hasn't arrived yet. But we can still get most of this. We can get the thermal stuff done and see how that goes. So let me just switch over to my trusty top-down camera. All right, trusty PS2. Let's get this open. So, memory serves, there are eight screws. So let's get that open, and for that I need a screwdriver, which I apparently forgot. So the reason I gotta get these off is that's where it's hiding all the screws. Um, and I will actually have to use a new different screwdriver because I forgot that these are a bit deep in there. Didn't take long for me to need my iFixit kit. And what we need right now is just you. So it gives me that nice and in there. Where did I put the other cap? <laughs> there it is. I'd like to try and keep these all together so that I remember where to put them. Mind you, there's not really going to be a lot of these. It is just for memory's sake. But this is really nice. This is an ease of use thing that made it so that a lot of people could actually fix these. It, was, it wasn't that complicated. Mind you, I'm talking about right now. I don't know if it was considered complicated back then. Mind you, this was like early 90s, I think, right? I get a little messed up on time when it comes down to consoles. It all kind of blends in. All right, gotta get these eight screws out and then we can pop the top off. Well, does it pop the bottom? Actually, I think it's pop the bottom. Hi, kitty. These are some seriously long screws. I have taken this apart once just so I could clean it, so I do kind of know what's in here. But for anybody that doesn't, it's not too scary. Come on, don't give me a problem here. Yes, this is where the different screws come. And that makes eight. It comes off really easily. Forgot about that being there. I hate ripping cables. I really do. All right, it says that I should be able to just pull that off. Hey, that actually went pretty good. That makes everything a lot easier. This also gives us a nice little look on what the inside looks like. Nice little springs. 
that's where we put the memory slots. And there's the connectors right there. And we just gotta get this little screw. this one so it's already got us a little bit more nice little look here we just gotta get you off are these the same kind of screws they were all the same cool i can also that they're color coded almost this is like really easy to fix and repair if you really needed to Oop, don't forget that one because i do need to have this off so I can remove the cooler and replace it. It's supposed to all come out right now, but why is it not? Hmm. You know, I bet it's this. I bet I forgot that this covers it. That's for the network area. I have got to be really careful with that. Is that it? Yes. Yes, that was it. But with that, that is a lot of the fight. Because I don't need this anymore. But I'll still keep it just in case. I'll put it back in the box that I got the new one from. So let's put you here. And you can just stay right there. While I make sure I don't screw this up. True words have never been said. Oh God. Don't do that. Okay. Okay. Let's pull you out. Now the back comes out, and this is where my hyperventilation starts, because this is where things start to get a little scarier. So first things first, I need to get this out, if I'm incorrectly. We do need to be careful right here, um, especially. This is the power board, the power source board, so this is going to have all the capacitors and everything. Um, and that could truly screw me if I'm not careful. All right, so this is where it's gonna get a little scarier. There is, if I could just lift this up real quick, not destroy anything, four connectors right here. I need to pull everything up straight. If I, oop, don't break that. If I bend any of that, I'm gonna have a very bad time. It's not like it's really easy to get new replacement parts for this. Look at that. The power board, transistors and all. Don't want to touch any of these. So that's just going to stay on the side there, and I'm going to forget it exists. Okay, I can get you off. This is just to hold the hard drive for when you want to put it in there. And this is to protect everything from that power supply. Here's the important part. I need to get that off. And last time I tried, but did not succeed. First, let's get this metal plate off. There are several screws. This is quite small. So it should be these four. And this one and that one. So let's see. There it is. Double zero Phillips head. That's a tiny screw. It does look like on mine, because I'm also following a guide while doing this, that I have this one, but on his, that entire area is not existent. Don't know why that is. And I also have these. And he also has those out already. Ooh, those are on there tight. It is interesting that his has more screws than I do. 
I'm not sure why that is. I am curious to see. Oh god, that longer, aren't you? Yeah, a little bit and thread it differently. So let's put them on top to kind of keep track of this. All right, before I do anything farther, I would like to try getting that off. Let's try with this. Hey, I got it. Man, yeah, it really does a difference there, isn't it? Bigger blade. How hard is that gonna be? It's keyed, so as long as I make sure I follow. But we'll do that later. Ah, okay, I see. Where's my little spudger thing? There it is. Just gotta be careful, right? You know, careful. Like jabbing the metal part into the whatever's under here and hopefully not breaking anything. Oh, okay. Um, please stop. I just want to get the metal part off. It's really all I want to do. And it's making that hard. I just want to see. All right. Um, let's just get the ribbon cables out. Okay, I'm gonna go this way and just see what I'm dealing with. Nothing friendly, is it? Okay, this is already a bit harder than I was expecting. I just want to get right here, because that's the main board and that's showing me right everything. But I can't with this stupid little metal part here. It's like I'm screwed on to something still. That's how it feels. Could it be that? Could it be that simple? I doubt it, but let's find out. I swear to God. Thank you. Okay, was that what I was looking for? No, those are still pretty much fine. That doesn't look like degraded thermal pads. There we are. So what do we have here? Emotion engine. Okay, that's not too bad. And that's not a horrible thing to have to replace. This is a nice board, I like it. It's very simple. Um, how do I? All right, now I just gotta cut the thermal pad to that size. I did go with a thermal pad that was as close to the same thickness, just to be safe. Uh-oh, that could be a problem. It is most definitely a problem. Can I work with this? What all was it? covering it would have been like this this is very much degraded like you can see the bunnies on this thing so what I'll do is it's really all I got to do is cover those two as well as these so if I get this totally not stressed pretty sure I'm doing this all right is this still gonna be usable we actually did pretty darn good covering the entirety of both of those chips and the sets just gotta mush this down a little bit just so that i make sure it makes a connection okay now it's putting everything back on God, this isn't 
stressful. All right, now we travel and make sure this still works. One eternity later. All right, so we get to turn this on and see how it goes. We've already got at least one good sign, the light's on. So let me just put the TV on here and we can see if everything works. We can put a game in. Oh, that's very good. I have a working PS2. And save for the disc reader, it doesn't make a sound. Now this doesn't mean that I'm entirely done upgrading and modifying things for this kind of setup. I, I am looking at getting a better entertainment center than just the little cube stand thing I have here. That way I can actually have multiple consoles that I can plug into a TV and qualify controllers, see if they work, and fix them. And also to make content because that is in the end the reason for doing this is to make content of repairing consoles modifying consoles and repairing the controllers because the more content i can put out about repairing these kinds of things the easier it is for everybody to see how it is to be done that you can do it yourself it is highly possible for you to fix 90 percent of the consoles that are out there just by replacing maybe a cable or something so I do hope this video was very informative for any of you guys. I do hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, don't forget to like the video if you like the video. Subscribe to the channel. Also, link is down below to the merch store. Go get some great merch. If you guys enjoyed this video, how about you guys go check out the video I did last week on the um, Game Boy Operator from Epilogue. It is a fantastic item to have if you have any of those um, Game, Boy, Game Boy games that was laying around that you want to play and it lets you play it on your computer, which is fantastic. Thank you guys again for tuning in and have a good day.